had this idea last night and I decided to move forward with it. We celebrate our Independence Day on the 4th of July. I thought, why not find a way to tell a story about some of my Revolutionary War ancestors? What, what were they about? What did they look like? Where did they live? With each ancestor, it's a challenge to try to get to know them and see if you can feel a little bit of what life was like for them. So how do I make this interesting to my grandkids? They like little videos or they like it when I text them memes. So to catch their attention today, I think I'm going to make them a slideshow. And I'm going to use Suno, which is an artificial intelligence song composition application, to create a song about the Pelton brothers. my third great-grandfather and his brother, and they served together in quite a few of the skirmishes. So I'm going to go right now and see about my Paul Revere hat. It's got three corners, and we imagine that's the type of hat worn by maybe revolutionary soldiers or maybe just people during that time period. All right, are you ready? I wonder which way is the front. Oh, that's way too big. <laughs> what I'm going to do to get ready for this story for my grandkids is to look up James Pelton. Here he is right here. James's daughter, Amanda Pelton, married John McGuffin Sr. So John and Amanda's son was John McGuffin Jr. And he married Mary Esther McMillan. They were in Canada when they got married. They came to the U.S. back down to Michigan at some point, had many children. Mary Esther McMillan and John McGuffin, if you're one of my relatives, you should know how you fit into the family after that. You notice I said they came from Canada. James started out in Massachusetts, and then he moved to Vermont, and then about 1805, he and his brother-in-law, Levi Lawrence, and their families all moved up to Quebec, and then in 1809, they moved to Blenheim, Ontario, and that is where the family stayed for a couple of generations until they came back to Michigan. So that is the family history. Now, to find James's military records, I ended up going to Fold3.com. Fold3 has a lot of military records. This is a compilation of soldiers and sailors data that I'm looking at. Here's James. He's from Blanford. It lists all sorts of places that he served. He started in 1779. It says here that he was five feet, four inches tall, dark complexion. Then we go over and look at his brother, Thomas. Thomas is about three years older than James. So James signed up when he was 17. Thomas signed up in 1777 when he was 18. And one of the things that you can see right here, he marched to Ticonderoga. And if you check these dates, he was there May 6th through July 14. That surrounds the time of the siege of Ticonderoga, which you may have read about in history class. Here you can see where Thomas served, and this is where he marched to Ticonderoga. Then they both served together in 1779 at Claverack. Claverack was a location where regiments were raised to reinforce the Continental Army for three months. After that, they served in Springfield in 1780. So they served together in three places, Claverack, Springfield, and then a place called Camp Totaway, which sounds a lot like a summer camp. Uh, they mustered here in October of 1780, and they both served there until sometime in 1781 when they went home. To make a song about them, I actually went over here to Suno. I told it to make a patriotic song. I don't know how to use Suno very well, and I think you could waste your time if you spent too much time on it. Uh, so I think this is gonna be good enough for what I want to do with my grandkids. James and Thomas side by side, marching with the nation's pride. Snare drums beat in steady time, echoes of a freedom ride. I just think this is a great way to 
do silly little things with your grandkids that they might remember when they get older that aren't the standard way of sharing family stories. Just something little, lighthearted, and present it to them in the format that they like to consume. Here comes Grandma again, but I'll really surprise them by wearing my new hat. (laughs) 